Well, that's right, Kyle. Essentially, at this point, if you have not turned in your absentee ballot to the mail, hold on to it, get in your car, and go to the post office in your county that is designated as the official drop-off site for that ballot. Here in Davidson County, it's actually on the first floor of the Frist Center. Now, when it comes to actually giving that ballot over to the uh, post office, you'll need to go up to the counter instead of just dropping it off in a collection box. Because if it goes through the collection box, it will still go through the mail sorting machine. That could lead to some delays. And like we have mentioned before, the clock is ticking. You have until Tuesday at 3 p.m. to drop off these ballots. If you miss the deadline at the post office or if your ballot doesn't arrive to the election commission, by the time polls close on Tuesday, your ballot will not count in this election. Now, we spoke to one woman who brought her grandmother to drop off her absentee ballot today because in-person voting has just been so crowded. It was a lot of people, and with the current conditions, I, I don't really think it's safe for grandma. Um, she's only here because I thought they were going to ask her, like, ID or something, but if I could have just dropped it off, she wouldn't even be here. Now, when the counter is closed, but the building is still open here at the Frist Center location, you can actually drop your ballot right into this uh, letter box right here. It even says that you can go for the Election Commission P.O. Box 650 by putting in your ballot right through this slot right here. If you need a refresher on which county post office you go to, if you're not inside Davidson County, we have a full list of it on NewsChannel5.com. Live downtown, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.